Happy birthday to you. Everyone, let's blow out the candle together. Yay! Thank Yay. you so much for being here. This is the one year anniversary of the hack night. Uh, all of a sudden, the White House is using the word civic hacking. I mean, that's, that's crazy. Like, that's when you know that a term has arrived, right? The initial language was like, oh my god, get together with your nerd friends and like, big social problems over the weekend. <laughs> and like, let's be honest, you're not going to fix social problems over the weekend. It can at best be an ingredient to solve certain problems. We're prototyping. We're trying things out that people should then, when they work, run with. It's a place where you can come and tinker on your personal projects and meet like-minded people. And I think that's enough and I think that's good. I think it's a very positive thing. Here, come with me. I'll, I'll take you to the school cuts people because I think they could actually use your help. You guys should all talk to Ryan, who's the guy with the beard, and Tom, who's the guy with the tie. Okay. Do you know them? So any changes to the scheme, I'd be happy to incorporate into this as well. Hopefully it's going to be helpful so we can promulgate releasing flu shot data in a way that's valid and so it can be replicated right, exactly. across. So there's this group and they've been working on this app called School Cuts that is basically taking a bunch of data that's been released by Chicago Public Schools. It's just using technology as a way to make government more transparent. I know you guys all know the data and I know that you guys can look at this from a really technical point of view, but what's a parent going to really want to know? Like really, let's get the jargon out of there. What do you really want to get out of this? I'm going to work with e and and try to create some standardized schemas about uh, pedway routes uh, yes. and about bike rack locations. Bike rack is actually perfect because, like you said, there's city data and there's all the neighborhood knowledge. All they would have to do is add an extra column that says rack type. Yeah. yeah. So there's, there's lots of things we have to do all the way from getting some data cleaned up, looking at the data, which honestly is just like spreadsheet work at this point. Whereas before you would have, you know, these muckraking journalists, like, how do we all get information now? It's through the internet, it's through websites. It's, and now the journalists are doing it too. They're getting into the data analysis side. We were in town for the week for the American Planning Association Conference. I feel like I could be in San Francisco when I'm in this building. And there's a lot of energy too, and a lot of stuff going on. I mean, it's very clearly an active community. You know, people are building things, they're doing things. Yeah. I think that's kind of what defines a strong startup community, yeah. I guess, right? Yeah. That people are getting stuff done. They have this new data set, brand new. They link all of the tax records for every business people in America. Don't have broadband, less than but what does that actually translate to in a social sense? It means they don't have access to. I think, as far as I know, we're ready to write the script to pull that in. I mean, if you want to like get your hands dirty, maybe a good idea to get your machine set up with Ruby and Rails. We, we try to meet here at least every Tuesday. I'll just put on my list right now to let you know when the next one is. Creating sort of a text for application for I think really works well because you can edit it on the fly. I mean, there's some, some ideas I think that, that came out of the city, so different problems we have and ways that you guys might be able to solve them. And so certainly would be 